I, it's your afternoon update before my anniversary tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to be able to do tomorrow other than coffee and conversation in the morning, which I always do because you guys are my peeps. Thank you for all the ninjas I got through today. Uh, I'm, I'm just now breaking my fast with my amazing nutritional shake. Paul, Mr. Sandman, had some good intel. Listen to this. <clears throat> this was just as of 435, I guess, their time on the 19th. So it was sometime today. <clears throat> U.S. dollar declines against Iraqi dinar in Baghdad and herbal markets. You need to hear this. Shafak News, the exchange rate to the U.S. dollar witnessed a decline against the Iraqi dinar in the markets of Baghdad and herbal on Wednesday. According to a report from Shafak News agents, Baghdad Central, al Kifa and al Haraf stock exchanges recorded an exchange rate of 148,200 dinars for every $100 this morning. This marks a decrease compared to the prices recorded on Tuesday at 148,250 dinars. In the local markets of Baghdad, the dollar prices in exchange... Hold on, I'm trying to make this so I can read it. <clears throat> in the local markets of Baghdad... The dollar prices in exchange shops remain stable. The selling price reached 149,250 dinars, while the purchase price stood at 147,250 dinars per $100. In Herbal, the capital of the Kurdistan region, the stock market also witnessed a decline. The selling price reached 148,500 dinars, while the purchase price started at 148,450 dinars for every $100. The decrease in the exchange rate of the U.S. dollar against the Iraqi dinar reflects the current dynamics of the currency market in Iraq. Various factors, including economic conditions, government policies, and international market trends can influence market fluctuations. Boom, boom, diggy boom. Do you want to see the rest? That was just a little bit later. Iraqi port yields nearly half a trillion dinars. Guys, that is just incredible. The Federation of Iraqi Chambers of Commerce are noting all the improvements in the movement of the Iraqi exports. So guys, they're, they're doing more and more business. And then uh, SOMO, an agreement to export oil with a prepayment. <clears throat> oil prices jump close to $80 a barrel. Guys, I'm just giving you a summary. I'm just giving you the tidbits to encourage you to still believe that this is done, right? My Holy Spirit, the God, the Jesus Christ who showed up in my Jeep on February 22nd of 2000, confirmed to me this was done over a year ago, and it's up to us Christians to pull it in. So this is to keep you out of doubt and in faith. Faith, You can't be in fear, faith and doubt at the same time, or faith and fear at the same time. So you got to have faith that this Iraqi dinar is done. Our problems are over. This thing is done. Make sure you're prepared. Make sure you got your pre and your post RV. There's so much good news, guys. And if you didn't get the full report, he had a lot of news this morning. Check out my coffee and conversation that was live this morning. It's under the live tab on my homepage. I hope you like this update. I know it's short, but it's sweet. And it's awesome. And I hope you enjoy it. God bless. Keep having the faith that this is done. Keep preparing as if it is done. Virtual shop away on your houses, your lands, whatever you want. We're going to get this thing done. And if you haven't gotten your pre and post ninjas done, I still got time on Friday and Saturday. So let me know. God bless. I'll put my email down below. Bye.